Leanne Matheson is uh, someone who's got had an amazing career with a major, major corporation. And uh, like many of us, there's some things that she wanted to do for herself personally that, but perhaps didn't get around to it. And then there was a major shift uh, in her career several months back, and she has just caught on fire. When I lost my job, that was my moment. That was my moment of, that was the pivotal moment in my life. So it was definitely a blessing in disguise, and it allowed me to, to you know, it gave me the, um, it was the catalyst in, in how I moved on and how I moved forward with my life. When that happened, um, at first I was, I was extremely devastated. Um, but after a few days, I realized that I was no longer under stress. And that stress in my life, I had no idea that I was actually experiencing that when I was in my everyday. That became my normal. The stress that we, we are under or that we put ourselves under, um, it so negatively impacts our life. And when that happens, nothing else can really move forward because that's all you can focus on. As human beings, we tend to, you know, listen to that 2%, that 2% of, of uh, people that, you know, tell us the negative things that say you're not good enough, that say um, you're never going to be like those people. And we tend to listen to that 2% versus the 98% that tell us all the good things. You know, our support systems, our families, our, our husbands, our wives, they're, those are the people that mean the most to us. But yet, for some reason, we tend to listen to that 2%. And when I lost my job, I realized that that, had, that was what I had been doing. So I knew that that was an opportunity for me to change how I felt about my life about um, you know exploring a new career. Um, I knew that there there was just so many opportunities within that, and I stopped listening to the two percent. I, I first needed to recognize that there was um, some of those people in my life because I hadn't seen it before. Because as I started to get in a better place in my life, I started to realize that there were some people that, you know, that I, that I probably listened to that I shouldn't have. And those, those people, unfortunately, you know, I, I can't change who they are. Um, but definitely, it, it definitely took a conscious choice to limit my time to set some boundaries. Um, and, you know, most of those people, um, aren't completely out of my life. Um, and you know, it's, it's certainly something that it was hard to do. It was, it was hard to do and I needed, but I knew I needed to. How do you find those people who are positive, who are that way, who are of a similar mindset, who mm -hmm. you can talk to about this stuff that it doesn't feel safe to talk to anyone about? Yeah. Like being more vulnerable was something that, that really, uh, I, re I really think that helped me as well. And the choice to make it, I, I almost feel like, I almost feel like I was probably forced to be that way, but in a good way, if, if that makes sense. Like it, it was something that just kind of naturally, um, naturally happened as I was going through some of these changes. So feeling vulnerable, being open to you know, connections with more people. Um, those were the things that, that I did that I felt made a difference. 